Kakamega Town is the hub of Kakamega County in Western Province, with the town being the headquarters of the provincial administration in the province. The native residents are from the Luya community, but as the town becomes more and more urbanized, people from other communities in other parts of the country have moved in, especially in search of business opportunities. Find rich music here, the land of Isukuti, coined from the English phrase, it's good. The county has nine constituencies, Lurambi, Malava, Lugari, Shinyalu, Ikolomani, Mumias, Butere, Matungu, and Huisero. Ikolomani was coined from the English word gold mine. It is known for some gold mining activities and rich cultural activities like bullfighting. But talking about the major economic activities, then Mumias comes into the picture with its sugarcane growing sector. Mumias Sugar Company, among other sugar companies in the Kakamega County, has contributed immensely to the county's economy and to the national kitty at large. All this amid frequent complaints among farmers over poor pay and inability on the part of the factories in the region to embrace modern technology that would spur growth in the sector. And what exactly is the catalyst for the changing face of Kakamega? Statistics indicate that it is Masinde Muliro University that is pumping money into the county's economy at a much faster rate than the traditional economic activities. And uh, annually we are dispersing to the payroll almost 700 million. This is going to, to their pockets through the Kakamega County. We are talking about uh, students who are bringing in their fees, you know, being collected by the banks in Kakamega Town. And we are talking about amounts, you know, in the region of a billion. We even now recently uh, justified even the opening of an airstrip. Nakumat Supermarket opened a branch in the town recently to join others like Yako Supermarket that opened earlier. The banking sector has also hit a crescendo in terms of growth with a population of 1.66 million. Kakamega County is now the second most populous county after Nairobi with the neighboring Bungoma County coming third. Some look at high population as a burden, yet others look at it as a blessing because it's a sure way of getting market for goods and services. That's a major pressure because housing is not adequate. Therefore, housing is a good investment opportunity in Kakamega. Actually, people are converting homes into kind of rental houses. And that brings us to the county's main challenge, the road between Kisumu and Webuye that passes through Kakamega and falls within the management of the highways authority has been abandoned, a situation that has impacted negatively on the movement of people and goods. Ironically, this is supposed to be an A1 highway, bigger than even the Kericho-Kisumu highway that is in the B class. Some good news though, the National Highways Authority will carry out the rehabilitation of the road and work between Kakamega and Webuye has begun. But that is only a temporary solution. So the pending question, who is the best qualified person to manage the Kakamega County as governor given its potential and challenges? Is it one from among the old politicians or a new entrant with fresh ideas who can run the county the way a profit-making organization is run? Kama takuwa na ujuzi, kama takuwa na akili ya kuchegua mtu mwenye tutusaidia, hii itaendelea. Kama sisi tutaenda kwa hile ya oh, tunataka pesa ni tutuchegua mtu, hii kitu itabaki tu hivi miaka yetu natakuwa tunaendelea to kiumia. There isn't much talk yet among the people about governorship, but besides politicians, some feel CEOs like Richard Etemesi of Standard Chartered Bank former NSSF managing trustee Jos Consola and even judges like Agri Muchelule and Emmanuel Okubasu should give it a try. Or could it be Kotu Secretary General Francis Atwoli? Kama mimi nitabake kama kiongozi wa fanyikazi. Na siku hile nitataka kuingia kwenye siyasa na enda kukaa karibu na mweshimi wa Raila. Suwezi kukaa chini kwa province <laughs> ama kwa county. <laughs> The challenge technocrats face is that they find it hard to compete with politicians given that the people go for the most popular when it comes to political positions. Alex Chamwada, Citizen TV, Kakamega.